Hey guys, Andy42 here and today I'm going to talk about the ledger component. So the ledger component has a lot of different applications in our experiences and the most familiar one is if you track something, you can use the ledger component to ledge the hand fixed to the object. We also have things like ledging to static poses like this one here with the hand scanner. And I'm really sorry for my shaky hand today. I'm a little afraid of the climbing feature. So this is the last one I'm going to show you. You can actually climb out of the map and into the level. So let's start. First of all, we are going to continue with a very simple draw. The one we created in the tracking tutorial. Right now there's only the component track on it. So I'm not able to do anything without the component ledge also attached to the object. So I'm going to attach it and I make sure that the ledge type is set to drag. Of course, we need to set this can be latched on to true. The attach distance is the max distance I can actually attach to the object. And this is from the attach point. I'm going to show you later what this looks. So in non VR, you can see if I'm close to the knob, it's getting red meaning I can track it and if I go too far, it's wide and I'm not able to track it. So that's the max attach distance in non-VR. I can also draw a debug to visualize what this looks. And if I change it to something bigger, like 45, should have taken 42, sorry for that. You can see now it's much bigger and I can even grab it here and everything works. So let's set this down to something like 10. And in VR, the max attach distance is also how far you can attach it. But also if I have grabbed it and I pull my hand away more than the 10 centimeters, it automatically let go of the object. So this is a very nice way that your hands stay in the position of the actual controllers. The next thing is our auto attach feature. So with this, you don't even need to push a button like the grip button. You just need to get close to the ob object. And if you're in this 10 centimeter radius, it automatically latches to the object, like in this case, the knob here. So this is very cool if you want to make an experience where the user don't need to push a lot of buttons or you don't want to explain a lot of buttons to the user. In order for all of this to work, you need to have the right tags on your components and on your meshes. And I'm also going to talk about this in the component drag tutorial, so in more detail. But just make sure that you have the drag and the ledge tag on the mesh you want to actually drag and ledge. And on the component drag, we have this drag tag. So everything is talking with each other nicely and it's working. And again, let's just make sure that we have the attach point on our static mesh. We also have a tutorial covering all of this. But just as a quick recap, we need this attach point. This is the point we're actually attaching to with our laser or with the hands. And we also need the sockets so we know which pose and where to grab it. So let's go in there and create quickly a new socket just doing it for demonstration for the right hand here. So I'm naming it R underscore, looking for a nice pose, going with this one here and moving and rotating the way I want it to be. So last thing I need to do if everything is set up the way I want, I need to finish my naming. So in this case, I want to use the pose 07 it is. So I'm going to rename my socket in the appropriate way. And now we are good to go. So now we have two poses for the right hand and you can see now I can latch to this pose. And if I get closer to the knob, it will latch to the knob pose. And you can of course add as many poses as you want there for the left and for the right hand. 
Next, we're going to talk about the simple latch. So this is very simple way of latching to things. You're not able to track or anything like this. It's really, it just latches to this pose here. Of course, this is um, not really useful for a draw, maybe if it is locked. A better example would be something like this hand scanner we have implemented. If we get close with the hand, it latches into the pose. And if we do it with the right hand, it triggers the actor, the door opens and the cake was a lie. If you can think of any other examples, I would love to hear them because I had a hard time figuring out a lot of examples for this. So the last time we are talking about is the climbing latch type. And of course, this is for climbing. So you're also latching to the object, but this time, if you move your hand, you're actually moving the character. So now we're really climbing up this wall. We're snapping into the poses. And if I let go, I'm going to fall down. So this works perfectly. And the last thing with the ledge component, you have this highlight section where you can change the highlight color and the highlight type. So let's set this to green here. And now if I hover over something that is legible, it will be outlined in green. So we also have prepared the secondary crypt, but we haven't implemented it yet. We will continue working on this in the future, but the latching component has a lot of possibilities and I'm really asking you to go in there, play around with this and try if you can implement your own functionalities in there. So thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.